Hey guys, I'm Simitos Ken. Welcome back to The Walking Dead 400 Days. In the last episode, we uh, played as Shell, and we had to make some tough decisions about survival and just overall what's best for the group, I guess. I feel kind of like I've become morally, uh, maybe compromised would be the word, kind of like Crawford was in the regular story. But... Tough. It's a tough world. I uh, still haven't second guessed my choices yet. So now we're going to play as Russell. Oh, Russell. Looks like a fantastic young man. A bright future ahead of him. It's The Walking Dead. No one has a future. 184 days in. So we've gone back in the past a little bit now. So my back. Maybe taking so many cans. No, you need all them cans. So, uh, this looks like where Lily may or may not have been dropped off. I don't know. It looks like the zombie ran over because I think, well, I don't know. That's just a that's just a guesstimation. Oh, I miss the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Good. All right, Russell, continuing on. That truck. Shit, shit, shit. I see anything weird? I'm running my ass off. Bang! I just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. Fucking man, get out of here. That ain't very fucking nice, kid. I ain't no kid. You gotta be careful. These ain't times to piss off a stranger. Same okay. goes for you. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Or maybe I did steal a bag and just took the name. Rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run You're just trying to see if a guy buy with me. Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she liked the party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Okay. Probably don't have a real choice in the matter. Whether I'm gonna Thursday, ride. By the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh. Getting drunk. Here you go. <laughs> Good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. I'm kind of wondering why this guy was even after the other two dudes. Sure, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out any juicy deets, all right? Huh. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's really trying to figure out what's going on. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. 
Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> what would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? <laughs> give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure. <laughs> sure, whatever. I like this guy. Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was rotten, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Five fucking five. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's messed up. Oh man. This guy's messed up. I like him, but he's he's jacked up for sure. Uh, he's probably gonna screw me over. Hey, we've been here before. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Oh, they talked about these Don't guys be before. Mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh shit! Go! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! How'd I get over here so fast? You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down. See? Easy. Now we know where he is and we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Cue it up. Shit! Got Just our tire. Keep pushing. Oh man. Popping our tire out. The other tire. Shit. Push. Uh, uh, end of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'm gonna cover him and don't get stuck out here. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun and I'll do the same. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. 
Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! I'm trying to shoot. God dang it. <laughs> Crap. I died. Remember, don't okay, over there to the right. Shooting. I see now. Okay. Fire! Way over there. Alright, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. Go! Shoot more. Shot twice. Good job. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go. Woo! Oh. Oh. Did I get shot or did I fall? Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? My guy doesn't like this because it's going the Come same on. way that it used to be with the other dude. Watch out for that. <sighs> What's the problem? Is it still dangerous? Probably. Just get over here. Feel like a big man now? Let's go. Gross. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I'm totally gonna make some noise. I see him. Check through the See if there's anyone else. Where the heck is he? No, oh, there he is. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Hmm. It's probably not even the guy shooting. It's probably like a fake. Press and hold down the left mouse button and then push the mouse forward to slowly sneak up quietly. Okay, so we jump out. Shh. Don't fucking move! Walt! Get the oh. fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! <laughs> First off, watch the fucking uh. racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone Bullshit. else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. She can see who took her from me. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. 
I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. I know you do that. I knew it. Uh, it's kind of hypocritical of me if I went and like killed the people from last time, but uh, <laughs> he just freaking was so weird about it. I mean, they're old people, and she's dying, and sure he's gonna die soon, and we should just take all their stuff. I guess, but still, ah, ah, that was, I had to, that one I was trying to stay more in, I wanted to be more in character for Russell, Russell didn't want it to be like that, that's why Russell went away to begin with, so I didn't, sorry, smacking the microphone, I didn't want to put Russell back into that position, but it's going to happen anyway, oh well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, we'll see you guys next time, stay toasty my friends.